I'm glad you can join me. We're going to try and do what I call Jinko feathers and this is a variation of a, a Jinko grid. I've made this a two inch grid with two inches coming in between so that it's like this. And I'm going to show you how you can go about doing this because it's quite a nice one to put in your quilt that has got a big open space and you want to fill it. And this is a nice easy design. So first of all we need to come down here and this is just like the cathedral window. Start up in your left hand col co column. As you can see the grid is here. Here the grid has been taken away. So if I start here we end up with this. This is where it comes in from the square and over the square. In for the square and over. And each time you come across your two inches it's exactly so it's in this one, in this one, in this one and in this one. And you're doing this all over. So we'll do this first on the actual fabric and you can see exactly what I mean. So we've got our grid with two inch squares and we're going to come down I'm using a wax pen at the moment you use whatever you want the chalk will disappear and that is fine once I've got this wax one in so we're going to come in and out in and out in and out and this one is exactly the same in out, in, out and we continue doing them exactly the same, not in alternate, exactly the same. Each row looks what needs to look the same. And the end one. Go outside your grid, it's fine. And now we need to come along this way and again and so we want to come in first. In, out, in, out, in, out. And this one is exactly the same. In, out, in, out, in, out. Just as we would do in cathedral windows but because we're going the same way it will give you a different shape. And from there you can see we're left with a shape, this shape. And that is the shape we're after. The chalk will come away when we're done but this one won't. And from here we need to be putting our line, our, our dash line. So we need to come across here and from the point go to the point of your next square so that we're getting a zigzag effect as we are. If you've done it right you'll see this line will come straight across and you could probably put a ruler in and draw that one straight in. Well all of them to be honest but I'm going to do it this way to start with. So now if our chalk line comes away we're not bothered. So I can I 
actually take that part of the grid away. But make sure you can see your jinkos, as I call them. And from here we need to be putting in our feathers. And we're going to use the wax crayon or the fader crayon, the one that will wash out, so the one doesn't matter what pencil you choose to do. On the black I'm using wax and chalk but you can use any method that you choose to mark your grid but as I say the squares need to be able to come away once you've done this. So once we've got this where we want it to be we need to put our feathers in and remember it's half a bird's wing around the sun and back to the centre. We should get three or four of them in on these ones we're getting three I think. So half a bird's wing and a rind. Simple as that. And we must do this in all of them. So come around the half a bird's wing and a rind. Half a bird's wing around. And use whatever method you like for you, your feathers. So we'll come around. Two, three, one, two, three. One, two, three. And in this middle one, I'll show you, I'll just finish this one. In this middle one, I'll show you that it's one's coming this way, one's going this way, but this one will come this way. And this one will come this way. So it comes down and the two going away, two come together and that's the whole design. So we'll go away and fill this in and come back when it's, it's full. I'm only going to do this row and this row because I want to show you that you can do it freehand without chalking in your feathers. So I've come to the machine and I've put in my thread and drawn my threads up and I'm going to go round this shape in the pink and I'm going to do that. I'm not doing the feathers, I'm just doing the shapes. And you can see the method we originally used when drawing it. But on this one I can come round and come back in. And I've got my first row done and from here I'm going to continue on and put all these grids in.
So there we are and I'll turn this round because I want to go from this area and we now need to put our feathers in and I've got the line chalked in or as I, I have waxed it in I've got that line marked in and I'm not going to sew it into place I'm going to actually use the spine to do that. going to go on and complete I'll turn that round so you can see it I'm going to go round and complete all of these now and when I've got to the end I will come back and show you it because then we're going to change our colour thread and we're going to put our little spines in you can leave it with just the spines in, you can leave it without the spines in, you can actually colour it in as well and make another design. So I'll come back when I get this one finished. So I'm going to start in the centre so you can see it building up.
So there we have our first centre. And that's changed the design quite a lot. Quite pleasant. And you could leave it again like this or we could go on and do some more. And I've actually got in my head that I might quite like it to be done in pink as well. So I think for the next round to go round the edge of this I'm going to go back to my pink and see what it comes out like. Just changes it up, makes it feel different. We've done around the centre, we've done around the second part and there's the last part and I'm actually not going to do anything with the last part. I'm actually going to leave it because I like it that little bit better. Just to leave it, it gives it a definition from these other. So there we have our Jinko feathers. Quite different but quite a nice design especially if you're whole cloth quilting. It's another element, another one to do and it can be as small as this square, it can be this one or it can even be the full 12 inches and I think it looks very nice and you will use your own colourways and you will make your own decisions from it. <laughs> 